Uh, no, it's one of the most traumatic things you can go through, the breakup of a relationship. Uh, one company in Japan has recognised how hard it can be by offering their employees heartache leave. I don't know if they really have recognised how hard it can be because you only get one day if you're in your early you 20s. You get it out really quickly. Yeah, if you're over 30, you get three days. Um, so have you ever needed heartache time, Linda? Uh, yes. <laughs> mm. Yeah, so when I um, split up, um, from a partner that I was with for 11 years, um, it, my first boyfriend, so I was obviously heartbroken. Um, and I used to sit indoors with Lauren, my daughter. She was probably about three at the time. And um, he moved in opposite to his sisters, and so I used to be watching out the window because his new partner would be with him going in and everything, and I used to sit there and cry. And I used to play sad music all the time. You know how you like to wallow in your own sort of sadness and that, but I was really, really heartbroken. I couldn't go into work and I think I was doing two jobs at the same time, so I had to ring them up and say that Lauren wasn't very well because I just couldn't face it. It was just on my mind all the time. Um, so, yeah, I do think... I mean, it's hard, isn't it, to say how long you're going to take yeah. to get over something because it takes everyone a different length of time and that. But um, for me, it took a long time to get over it. But luckily, we're friends now. Yeah, but I think it is just that recognition. I mean, Japan do the heartache uh, leave. Germany also have something similar. They call it... Uh, well, heartbreak is known as Liebeskummer, um, an ongoing state of sorrow, depression and suffering associated with lost love, for which you can get a doctor's note and be signed off work. I, I mean, you just can't imagine doing that here, can you? Can you imagine going to your doctor and saying, I've got Liebeskummer? <laughs> no, definitely not. <laughs> definitely just not. step behind. Definitely not. I mean, I've, I've been, like, oh, completely heartbroken to the fact that I couldn't breathe. Um, it did take a little bit longer than a day yeah. to get over, but... Um, yeah, no, I, I just remember it hurting so much. But, I, yeah, it, I, that's ill, isn't it? That's ill. Yeah. yeah when yeah. something physically hurts you so much, so yeah. you just, you're sick. So did you go to work or did you phone up, pull a heartache sickie? Well, you wouldn't I don't remember. I've only been ever been in two relationships, really. So And my wife I've been with for 21 years, so it's going, going a long way back. So <laughs> Linda and I don't remember. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it is. You know when people say you're heartbroken? It is, like you're, yeah. you've got a broken yeah, heart. Yeah. It's like you hear, like your chest and everything. Yeah. But, well, the yeah. three of us have had it. I mean, I've certainly had it. <laughs> I mean, and I can still remember it now vividly, and I don't remember much, to be honest, I'm like you two, but it, it felt like a pain. It really felt like a pain, and I think I probably would have wanted to work through it as a distraction, so I probably wouldn't be phoning up work to have some time off, but I do remember how horrible and hollow you kind of felt. Mm. But, Jane, you said you've never felt that. Well, not to that... I mean, uh, it's to me, heartbreak is what you're describing. You know, yeah. you had a child with somebody and you're looking out the window and you can see the life that you thought you yeah, had yeah. going... So, you know, that I, I get, but I've never <laughs> been in, in that situation. So I'm talking about relationship. You know, I've been with Gary for 22 years and... When I left the house this morning, he was still with me. <laughs> so, you know, he's not <laughs> broken my heart. And he would have the capacity to do so, of course. But, but I'm talking about when I was back in my 20s. You know, I had lots of kind of six-month relationships. And, yeah, I felt a bit sad if it came to an end. But I would never class that as, as heartbreak. You know, I never got that thing of not wanting to... Have you never been get, dumped? ...get out of... No, because I always got no. in... No! No, because if I sensed it was coming, I would get in first, you know? <laughs> I was a bit like... I was a bit of a control freak, yeah, what, what can you say? But I... And I think, actually, the, you know, the times when I maybe just felt a bit sad because I thought, well, that's... I've quite liked him, but that's gone now. I would go to... I found work a distraction. Yeah. Because yeah. I almost found, like, if I would stay at home, you're kind of, like, your mind yeah. just fills with it the whole time and there's no distraction. Mm -hmm. I wonder if the fact that you've never been dumped helps. You know, that when you do have that terrible heartache, is it because you feel rejected rather than actually losing that person? Do you know what I mean? It's the, it's the, it's the pain that they're with somebody else. Yeah, yeah. The, the, and, and the Doing the things that you used that, to do. Yeah, that yeah, you yeah. had with them. They, it's such a betrayal. Um, and it is, it really is physically like your heart has broken, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I remember um, being on the phone and I, I, I remember I, I actually couldn't breathe. It had taken my breath away. It, it, it shocked me and it hurt so much. See, that's the key word, I think, shock as well, because yeah. I think if mm. you're... 
if you discover a partner's been unfaithful, that is, a, you know, you don't know about it. It's just like a, it's that, isn't yeah. it? It's yeah. a complete shock. Whereas the demise of a relationship where you kind of see it coming and you kind of, it withers yeah, on the vine. Crumbles. It's not going to have that same yeah. effect. Mm. Did you do the sad song thing? Um, no, I just went out. <laughs> oh, did you? <laughs> I just went out, yeah, and had a really good time, even though I felt really anxious about it all because it was all so new and I just wanted to be with this person. Um, I went out, yeah. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> Me and Linda are at home with, yeah. <laughs> with a sad song. I, I felt on. really jealous as well, you know, mm. like watching them going out and, that, mm. and enjoying them. But look at you that. two now, you see, you both, in, in the end, they did you a favour. Yeah, they, they both did. got, yeah. you know, great partners now. <laughs> yeah. 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 I still don't believe you, Jane, I have to say. But, well, no, actually, she's looking at me with evil eye. I do believe her, I do believe her, absolutely, I believe her. <laughs>